Yeah. You played great. You really played. TT Green, you played better than anyone by a long way. It wasn't yeah, even close. It was really good. Uh, one mistake, 13, but then I didn't seek any pass. Ricard Carlsberg, uh, you had a great game today. We watched it from the first hole. You must be proud of the, the way you played today. It was really, really impressive. Um, yeah, it was great. As you said before, from Tito Green, I think it was one of the best rounds I had, especially in, especially in this kind of condition. Uh, you be at top uh, and want to win. It's, uh, it's easy to lose some shots from T and also into the greens, but I kept it together, which was nice. Exactly. That. I mean, we're looking at it. You could have shot 29, 28. And I mean, you were in control of everything, uh, what we saw, and the turning point was at 12. I mean, you had a, what was a 10 footer down the hill for Birdie, and Pride hit the lip, and he, he's got yeah. 60, 60 yards, and it's looking like, oh, you could take a two shot swing and take a four shot lead. Can you tell us through that? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I hit a great two shot, great second shot, uh, straight over the pin, but the, uh, the putt coming back there is really quick. Um, so uh, I tried to get a good read, which I thought I got, but it didn't turn at all, which I, which yeah. I thought that he hit a lovely little wedge shot in, and uh, that the putt he got there is like a little bit up, uh, uphill right to left, which feels perfect. And I mean, that's the thing when you when the greens are as loopy as, as, and as quick as they are here, it's uh, you have to have a little bit of luck where you uh, uh, put the ball. Sure. Right, Ricard, uh, down 15, uh, you hit two great shots in there and you were, what, six feet, seven feet away for, for birdie and Pryor yeah. had a good shot in too, but that was a, a point where Pryor, when he had two shots up in you and you missed your putt at yeah. number 15, he thought, oh, well, I can play easy and you had to make the birdies coming. Uh, yeah. what, what did you feel? No, I mean, I had a great chance on 15. I needed to hold that to make it go to one. Uh, and I mean that's the difference today. I didn't hold any putts. Uh, I mean, this shot up 67 without holding any putts in this condition feels uh, like I'm lying to you. But that's actually what happened. And uh, but coming down the last few holes, I kept on hitting good, uh, good, uh, good shots. Uh, trying to sink the bunker shot there on 17. I had a good line. Just came up a little bit too short. Uh, but he he did well there. You know, he easily hit it on the green. Good two putt. So he did what he was supposed to do. So I needed to be within one there because uh, 17 and 18 was pretty, played pretty easy with a downwind today. So. Well, I mean, at the end you'll be proud of yourself. The chip at 18. I mean, it was. Did you have uh, any thoughts of when you chipped in at India? Were you thinking of that uh, on the 18th? Uh? Nah, no, not really. I just took a took a spot that I wanna when I wanna right. land it and where it should trickle down. But the thing is, I. I stood over the second shot there. I know I needed an eagle to uh, to try to tie it for a go into a playoff, and uh, I had a yard that's just between two clubs, unfortunately. Uh, so and uh, I pulled my. I tried to hit the hard six one, which uh, I pulled a bit. So. But still a great birdie, a great tournament. You'd be proud of yourself. Go yeah, on. definitely. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you Simon Yates, for interviewing. Good. <laughs> All right. Cheers.